installed Servicepack 8 in May, and things were going pretty well, but sometime in the middle of summer, uh, I started getting some notices from faculty that they thought things were running slow. So um, that was when I started opening tickets with Blackboard to try and figure out what's going on. You know, we've got a ton of performance and optimization guides that we use. So, you know, we did a lot of testing and always doing, you know, performance tests on our end to make sure, you know, the network's working, the databases are, you know, talking and the network's fine and everything's working together. But there was just something in there that was causing some sluggishness on the system. On just one of the application nodes, we have three, you see about 100,000 queries going from the application to the database because for each person that's connecting to the system, um, and we might have, I see a peak around 28 to 3,000, 2,800 to 3,000 users uh, an hour is about what it is. And probably at the most, I see between six and 900 concurrent users. Uh, but with Google Analytics, which I let you have read access to, you can kind of go in there and see our peaks. And, uh, you know, I've noticed that even when the system's been running slow the past few weeks, the usage is pretty much the same each week. It follows the same. You know, very first day of class, that's when we hit the most biggest peak. Everyone's going in and getting their syllabus for the first time. But then after that, it still has those peaks on Monday, Tuesday, and kind of dips down to about Thursday. And then Friday's a little lower. And then you definitely see, you know, a very low spot on the weekends. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, we've been seeing the same number of users and logins, um, but it's taking longer to generate those pages. Um, so it was taking quite a while uh, recently, and it wasn't too bad until the first day of class when then we had an extra 23,000 students logging in and about 81,000 enrollments. Um, that was really getting a lot of that those queries were running and running a lot of processes. So we've been working with Blackboard to just try and identify what is going on. So what we saw last, mid last week, they discovered that one of these Zythos queries was running, I think 15 billion over, of them over five to six hours, somewhere around seven, yeah. 870,000 a second. Um, which was causing pretty much the uh, CPU on the database servers to max out. So we were like, okay, so that's a good sign that something's happening if you're just totally maxed out from this. So they were able to identify what was causing that, and we turned off a back-end function in courses for uh, course recycling bins that most instructors don't use. And so what we see is we go into a lot of courses, and if we look in the back end in the course files listing, we see multiple copies of the syllabus, multiple copies of a lot of files, because the instructors don't necessarily go back and do all that cleanup. So what we did was, uh, the quick solution was turn off recycle bins. Um, and when that process, the turn off process took like 12 hours to run, and pretty much immediately after that, we saw a major drop in response time. It was a lot faster to get into courses like as soon as that quit. Uh, so that was, I think Friday it was morning. 12.30 Friday, I think. Yeah, I think 12.35. Yeah, it ran at 12.21, it finished at 12.21. There's some, you know, the database had to finish running the queries and then like just at 12.35, it was like major drop. And that's when things really sped up. There's definitely room for improvement, but the fact that it doesn't take you 20 to 40 seconds to get in and get your stuff uh, is a major improvement, but not good enough. Mm -hmm. So that's where we're at now. And in our testings on our systems, like our network and our databases and our file systems, we're not seeing... We're seeing no lag. We're seeing no lag, you know, within our own systems. So it just makes us feel like there's something in the application. Right, something between something the application be and the database, mm -hmm. and the, that's where all these queries came to we, We've done all kinds of testing and, on our systems, and we're not seeing issues with, mm -hmm. with performance lags within our system. There's always going to be issues as long as humans are still writing code and 
I hope that continues though, <laughs> instead of, you know, <laughs> yeah. some matrixy like overlords uh, <laughs> ruling us all. But, you know, that's one of those things I've just been thinking about. It's like, well, as long as someone's gonna write something, there's gonna be some issues somewhere. There's just no way to, you know, not have a problem. 